Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and we're going to tune the 40 meter amateur radio band and see how well it goes in single sideband. Uh, what I like about this uh, ATS-25 is that you have bands, which is international broadcast bands, but you also have something called ham, which when you press gives you the amateur radio bands. What's even more interesting is whatever band you choose that band will actually have the proper lower or upper sideband setting already when it's done. So this is kind of nice. But now, how easy is it to tune around with this radio? Right now it is on the MLE 30 loop. So let's go a little higher here and let's check it out. You can click on the uh, main tuning and adjust. And adjust the fine tuning. Here's you can choose bandwidth settings if you wish to uh, choose a specific bandwidth for the radio for tuning single sideband or any band. Uh, let's choose 2.2 here. There we go. I'm sure I chose the correct one. That's one of the little problems of that radio is the uh, It's not always easy to choose a proper bandwidth with a big finger and even on some of the buttons. So it ends here at 7200, which is kind of interesting. So it actually jumps. So if I want to tune 7201, I can either punch in the frequency directly. So go to 7201, enter. And of course, lower sideband. Five kilohertz steps, steps, one kilohertz.
to tune around and have uh, and play around with. Sound is not bad. Sensitivity is there, definitely. play with honestly and uh, as you see here good reception of 40 meter band I was done on the ML830 and uh, single side band is fun to tune around uh, fine tuning is easy to use um, really uh, kind of cool it's sensitive and an external antenna works great um, of course we'll have to see if it overloads or not at some point but it uh, definitely is uh, nice to play with. So hope you enjoyed this demonstration of tuning around a 40 meter band using the ATS-25 DSP receiver. <laughs> 